Good morning and welcome back or welcome to Nat's Knackers Yard. Um, by way of update on the SV650, I'm going to think I'm going to do it in this order where I'll show you this, then I'll go back in time and show you how I did it and then come back to it type thing. But I have a, a working front end with a working headlight. The uh, front mud guard is just placed on at the moment just for view rather than anything else. I still have some cocking around to do with this, I'm sure. Um, uh, so I don't want stuff dropping onto the mug guard. Um, so it's just on there for, uh, I don't know, shits and giggles more than anything else. But I have a uh, headlight that works. And that's full beam as well. Uh, I have a speedo that works in inverted commas. Uh, I do need to do some all the setup on it. So it's still in kilometres. I want it in miles an hour. I still need to set up the speedo for the radius of the front wheel etc it's all on one button it's a absolute balls ache you if you're half as impatient as i am you need to be in the right mood to do it uh, and i haven't been just yet um, that is hooked on speedo wise to a homemade bracket that you can see really badly because i'm filming in the garage because it's pissing down again but down here um uh, onto there with the magnet on there i'm gonna i don't trust the magnetism to hold it on the uh, drum so uh, so I will maybe you can just see it down there, yeah, the little silvery bit um, but I'll glue that on uh, some way shape form or another uh, my brake pads have arrived so once you've had a view of me arsing around with this which I'm still not convinced on but we shall see um, main job for today is the back end um, I have ordered some fiberglass wadding for the uh, exhaust for the baffle just see if I can quieten it down a little bit um, but it hasn't arrived yet it should have arrived earlier in the week but yeah okay. uh, these things happen um, the main bit that I need to work on though is this brake caliper so in the earlier videos you see uh, it was um, seizing a bit uh, so I've got new brake pads for it it's the pistons aren't awful but they need a good clean out and the piston rings look okay um, it just needs a good clean out now the issue with um, sort of circa 2000 Suzuki brake calipers or rear brake calipers is they are the most stupid design in the world uh, so they sit under slung so they sit upside down perfectly designed to catch every bit of crap that you ride over um, which is one downer uh, however the other downer is Trying to get the pins out is nigh on freaking impossible. Uh, I was just trying to think where I put the one that I got out last night. So these are blind holes, so you see one there. Oh, you can kind of see one there in this terrible light. I'll get out of the way a little bit. There you go, it's a bit better. So I've got an open hole that end, open hole that end, blind hole the other end. So if you can't hoik it, and there's nothing for you to get purchased to pull it out. So I managed to uh, bang a set. Of see the tools down there <laughs> managed to get one out couldn't get the other one so I gave it a really good dosing in WD uh, I'm gonna see if I can slide it out this morning but failing that what I'm gonna have to do and I've, I've seen loads of videos on this so I'm not really gonna film it um, is drill a pilot hole on the other side smaller than this smaller than the pin itself a pilot hole make a little tool or a nail or something and just try and tap it out from the other end um, it's not a great shake. It's a it's a common thing amongst um, amongst these bikes. I've just noticed actually it hasn't got the clip across the bottom. I might see if I can find one of those from somewhere. Uh, cool. Okay, so that's jobs for the day. Um, if or as when and if the uh, muffler muffler the muffler muffler um, the exhaust can um, fiberglass wadding arrives today. Um, Brill, I might do a bit of a decibel check one against another uh, and see what they look like. Um, what I am convinced I'm going to need to do, and I'm going to try and persevere with this exhaust because um, it looks fab. And as people have pointed out, I've got no exhaust hanging, so if I go for something else, I'm going to have to fabricate something else, which isn't a problem. Um, it's precisely what I did on the on the bobber, but um, if I don't have to, I really don't want to because it looks good on the bike. It suits it. Um, it is just loud. Um, I don't actually know if it's MOTable loud. Um, bear in mind the test is supposedly done at speed um, rather than stationary. I've done a comparison which I might try and film actually of just 
idle running the three bikes sat next to each other and it is louder but it's not massively louder it's only about four to five decibels louder um coincidentally i uh use the same test on my children at a dinner time and they were louder so um uh, yeah unfortunately you can't turn them off with a key um right real uh, i'm gonna have a bit more of a play with this i'm gonna see if i can get that caliper uh, that caliper a uh, bit of light now there you go I'm going to see if I can hoik that pin out uh, without having to drill first, having given it a good dosing last night. Uh, I doubt it. Um, from some of the videos that I've seen, I think I was incredibly fortunate to get one out. Um, but yeah, we'll see how that goes. Cool. Ah, that's the point. Now what I will do is break into the uh, messing around with the headlight and some of my wiring for lava. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's deeply, deeply involved and really quite frustrating stuff. Good morning and welcome back to Nat's Knackers Yard. Um, I'm Nat, this is a Knackers Yard, and not a lot of knackered in it. Uh, one thing that is knackered is the speedo on this uh, SV650. Um, all the cables are called pulled out the back. Um, I've gone for a very cool looking, but actually quite cheap, uh, universal, supposedly. Um, and I'm going to try and graft that bad boy into there. Now, as you can see, it's a little bit of a wiring cluster but fortunately my uh, cheapy speedo or cluster or gauges uh, came with instructions now the difficult bit behind it is they don't make a lot of sense well they do so you've got the diagrams there that's the one two three four plugs one two three and I've taken one off four now the slight issue you've got is when you look at the larger one, orientate it the way that it looks there. Uh, there we go. Uh, it says top left is turning left and it's light green. I don't know what your colour is like, but that looks very light blue to me. Um, so what have I done? I'm going to go by the orientation according to the diagram first. So, um, so I spent evening in front of the telly labelling up each individual one according to this, what it does. Uh, I'm going to hack the um, uh, plugs that it came off with it, try and retain the plugs because you've got a nice metal surface there. Um, and do that on there. Now what I'm going to do on the main bike is rather than try and bastardise them into the existing plug or indeed cut that plug off and do it straight across what I'm going to do is cut the previous speedos plug off quite high and then allow me to plug into the wires on this side right as far as working out what does what on the back of the SV don't really seem to be that many diagrams around however Facebook is an amazing thing I, I asked on the 650 site for a nice guy called Ben gave me a complete and utter rundown which is really good of him um, I, I don't think it's quite for this model, but it's not to be far off. Right, so a bit of jiggery pokery to do. First things first though, I'm going to take this off so I can get easier access. Okay, so all the best plans never quite work. Um, I do have what should be plugged into what. I'm not sure it's for the exactly the same bike because it doesn't quite tally, but hey, um, what I've effectively done is put spade uh, adapters on on each and a little bit of trial and error um, I have found a constant power which isn't great I have found one actually it's, it's getting it the right way around I have found one that does the whole startup sequence thing which is pretty cool what have I got to do find out where the hell everything else goes now Cool. Okay, so kind of getting there. Um, I do have one indicator and a rev counter. Now, let that do its dance. Where's it? <laughs> Trying to find the ignition.
so it's taken a good uh, couple of evenings of arsing around uh, and I've come to one very sound conclusion. This instructions really not worth crap. The clue should have been in the electric door lock. Failing that the position lamp. Um, yeah, um, I don't like using phrases like chinglish and things like that, but it doesn't turn out well. Um, yeah. Let's see if I can find some Google Translate or something like that to see what it happens actually. Um, but not a complete failure because what I have is a working speedo. I say working, I currently have the uh, the speedometer element wrapped around my neck so I don't lose it because that's the next job. Um, so I've got up, I've got, uh, what am I on? It, it now doesn't just work when I put my headlights on, it works even without the lights on. So, light on, I get my high beam warming in, I get a left indicator, don't get a right indicator, which is really confusing me, but I can prove that works in a second. Let me set up. So I've just bodged a little indicator here onto um, the earth cable. And if I take it up here and touch it on what I know to be the left indicator, I get a flash. Now if I do the same with uh, indicate right so no flashing light up there uh, which one's the, the right I think it was right indicator is that one I touch it on to right indicator so it is an issue with the unit I've tried swapping it around as well but it's an issue with the unit so I'll write off but uh, no idea if I'll ever get anything out of it um, Right, I've taken the bulb off because it's just hanging at the moment. Um, so I'm on. I'm in neutral. So I get rev count on as well. So, what? I now need to try and work out the speedometer element, which is... I think relatively simple. Um, so it should be the one plug that's unmolested down on one side, haven't worked out which side yet, probably downside. Um, and then I need to find a way of coaxing this receiver. I can't see it later. Coaxing this receiver somewhere. And sticking a magnet onto the other side. Where are you? Sticking a magnet onto the other side, close enough so that it acknowledges the magnet going past, but without actually hitting it. Now the difficulty is, obviously, I need to keep the brake surface clear because you want to stick a magnet on that. Because first revolution, it's just going to whip it away. So uh, I need to have a little bit of a think. So back to it. Right, a bit of fabrication later. Uh, that was my first attempt uh, with my really thin aluminium um, didn't work because I didn't leave enough space to clear the two nut heads at the end and get that, that bolt head sorry um, and get the uh, sensor through so I went for some thicker stuff I'm not sure how much you can see there probably not particularly well right, rubbish um, yeah so that's on I just need to so cable up and in I just need to fabricate and uh, fabricate I just need to get some uh, plastic cuffs in on that uh, I might try and sort out that light wiring a little bit so I can get the bulb on, not bulb, but the, the headlight on. Um, and also highlighting some of my really dodgy fabrication. Um, it was more so that I didn't drop the speed over on anything else. But uh, but yeah, so not a million miles away. I need to look up to see. See, I'm convinced that that cluster of six there out one's gone to the rev counter as a, as a guess I thought it was going to be the neutral but it wasn't I don't know if they're the rest of the gears I've tried attaching each one of the gear levers here gear levers gear sensors here to an earth and it does flash up what they are what gear it's in so I don't know I don't know I don't know I'm not bothered if it doesn't have 
the uh, gears uh, working on it. Um, that's got nothing to tell you what gears in. Neither is that. It's it's not a problem. It really isn't a drama. That right indicator not flashing is really peeing me off though, and not having the headlight uh, uh, light on lamp on as well is 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 bugging me. Um, but frankly, they're bugs that I can um, live with for the moment. I just want to get it tucked away. Um, what I've also got for this weekend, rather than avoid breaks and leave them to the end, I do have, where have I got them? I do have a set of brake box for the front and the back. I definitely need to do the back um, because that one's seizing. So I'm definitely going to do the back. Um, what else am I going to do? I've ordered some fiberglass baffle to go in the um, in the very loud exhaust. Um, it's not here yet, uh, which is frustrating. But I'm going to try using this exhaust, but I'm going to try using it better. So I do have 140 jets that that came with. Um, this is 137.5. It's not been upjetted with that straight, uh, almost straight through exhaust. So it will need upjetting. Two and a half is a bit of a big upjet, but it's got a high flow filter in there as well. Yeah, it's not far off. So I might give that a go this weekend as well. So brakes, exhaust, if it comes, hope it does, jetting. And then I want to take it out and see if I can calibrate this correctly, the speedo correctly. Cool. Right, so there we go, slightly better view. Oh, and welcome back, because I have now shown you that um, speedo stuff. Um, so slightly better view, I've taken it off the bike just because um, it's raining, I've not got a lot of space to work in the garage. So that's how the other one comes in and out, which I did manage to get out, which apparently uh, is rare and lucky. And the other one is thoroughly wedged in, so what I'm gonna do is drill a small hole. This is just cast aluminium, so it should be okay. Uh, drill a small hole at the other end, find something to poke it through, and then just try and tappity tap tap that out. Uh, you can see the pistons inside are grotty, but don't look too bad. Um, I don't really want to have to split the whole thing to clean it, which there's a can way on doing these two, break it open and see what the score is, but um, I have to see what I can get to and what state those pistons are in, uh, more importantly. Um, it is a pisser. I do. I don't like doing brakes, particularly because I needed to take this off to get it on. Because if, when I need to pump the pistons out, I need to put it back in and redo it that way. Uh, it's just a ball's ache. Um, but yeah, we shall see. Cool. Welcome back to a frustrated nap, making the simplest things really complicated. So trying to drill a hole out on that, I think I've just snapped a bit of my drill bit in it. This is a real ball's ache. I can't fucking get that out but uh, frustration but I'll get round to it it'll do me for now uh, sorry I'll do me for now I'll leave it for now um, uh, when the fun stops stop and all of that don't need to be doing that at the moment right the advantage of doing this for fun not for a living post has just been um, and uh, let's see what we got all right so thank thank you mr. postman uh, what we have is some um, fiberglass wadding for that exhaust, uh, some zip ties, metal, and an air freshener for some obscure reason. Thank you, uh, eBay. Um, right, cool. Uh, how am I going to do this? What I might try is a decibel meter. If I get that on a tablet and we'll could do a straight compare and contrast, see if it does any difference. Cool. Be right back. Okay, so really rudimentary setup. Um, so decibel meter there. I know this isn't how they do MOT decibels because they do it running and moving, but this is the best that I can do. Um, I just want to see whether or not that wadding makes much of a difference. So, got your setup there. Uh, how's that? Uh, not too bad. It's not going to drop my phone. More importantly. You see some of the uh, speedo doing its thing.
pretty sure I believe that, but I'm going to leave it there and we'll put this waddy in and see what happens. Cool. Right, so that is the muffler off with the gloves there because I forgot it was going to be warm. Hey, look. Uh, let me come see. Um, yeah, it's not a great deal to it. It's just. So it's wadding around that piece. Around. I'm slightly surprised that it isn't longer. Yeah, I suppose that's about as far as it can be. It's only really stubby. Um, yeah, so I'm going to cut the fiberglass around, wrap it to the thickness of this, pack it tight, uh, and then see what happens. Uh, I am going to use uh, Johnny Gloves because it's fiberglass and it just gets everywhere. It's deeply unpleasant stuff. Um, I've got a face mask kicking around somewhere as well. Um, because the last thing you want to be doing is breathing in. I am going to give this a quick scrub down first while it's off just to get rid of some of the carbon. Um, not that it will make a lot of difference but it's worthwhile doing while I've got the opportunity. Okay so a few minutes later um, I haven't watched a couple of videos that's all it is. It's just packing it out. Um, so that's got uh, a good few layers on there. All the plastic cups are down there because um, I was holding the separate layers together with it. That's packed really quite tight. Uh, so let's see if I can get this bugger in. Right so that's the uh, muffler back on. Um, it's a bitch to get the baffle back in um, but frankly that should be a good thing because it should mean it's well packed. It's mostly making sure because it's only held on by the one nut there so trying to keep that hole lined up. I did have to take it out a couple of times and obviously every time I took it out it spat the new wadding out which is a bit frustrating but hey it works. Um, Let's see if it makes any difference, or a difference in tone. Um, now it's going to be difficult because obviously the sound that you get through videos isn't the same as the sound in real life, it's an approximation so you might have to take my word for it. Let's see. has made any difference at all. Um, I think it sounds better uh, but what it has done is I'm gonna try it on that I'm gonna see if it's MOT able etc it looks great it sounds great it is loud right I'm gonna do a comparison be right back right so I've just grabbed the keys for the bobber um, a motorbike further away as well. Um, I'm alright with that exhaust. Um, it's loud, it's obnoxious, but I don't think it's actually illegal. Oh well, one way to find out. I'm going to leave it as it is. I'm going to sort out those carb jettings to match it better and see how we get on. Cool. Right, so I've got the lid off, carb exposed. Um, what's next? Um, I'm not going to do it now. Um, I'm knackered, I'm hungry. Um, so I might do it tonight, if not I'll do it tomorrow, but I'll um, reject that. So that is 137.5 which is stock, um, it's got a high flow air filter in it I think, um, which is a plus one probably. It's got that bad boy down there which is probably another plus one, so uh, 139.5, I've got 140s. I found the 140s that were originally in this, uh, and I chucked them up on my board of my tiny bits that I'll lose otherwise. Um, so yeah, I am pretty much good to go, uh, but um, I'm starving at the moment, um, and I think I might hear family calling. So um, that'll do me for now. Hope you're enjoying it, um, and more to follow shortly, uh, probably tomorrow. Cheers all. Ta-da.